Hey, today I want to talk about are you happy already? Do you think you need to do something to be happy? Is there something missing to be happy? Every time you try to become happy, you think you need to do something before you get happy. But you had so many situations in your life. If I do this, I will be happy. If you guys also feel the same as me or whatever. I also heard Buddhism is kind of in that way too. Finding happiness without first achieving something, without having to buy something. When I finish school, I'm happy. And when I get money, I'm happy. I thought when I'm independent, I'm happy. When I get number one in Super Mario Maker, I will be happy. I made the best level in the world. Which led to I wanted to be number one and number two in the world, which I did too. I was number one and number two at the same time. And then I had a level that is, was over one month for number one in the world, in all categories too. I was number one in the world in infantry online. I was I won about 60 StarCraft tournaments. I always feel like I need to achieve this to get happy, and then I'm not. I'm always trying to achieve something. Yeah, you can find it on Spotify. If achieving your goals ever make you happy already? can be happy already did achieving your goals ever make you happy already you can be happy already did achieving your goals ever make you happy already you can be happy already did achieving your goals ever make you happy already so yeah, what this chorus means is just you think that you need to achieve something just to become happy. You have to look back if that already happened. And then you can see that you can be happy already because you already achieved all those things you thought you need to do to get happy. It's just new things came now that you think you need to do to become happy. You can be happy already. I had a dream to become something. Now I achieve, but I feel nothing. Where is the place that I should find happiness? From the world, know yourself is my second guess. Feeling passionless can feel so effortless, even though usually I'm a pessimist. I try to reach a goal. I know I get what I want. It's just a say, cause look at the past, bro. How long the goals last for? Achieving the past, bro. That's basically trying to explain it a bit more. Basically, that you have a dream to achieve something, but you just strive for happiness, but you never really get there. Just always think you need more, and you just set your standards higher, you set your goals higher. And so you will never just be happy. Now uh, look at the past, bro. How long do gods last for achieving the past, bro? Living the quest, though. Missing the best, though. Think about that, though. Happiness, let's go. That's basically it, right? Um, yeah. And just repeat happiness, let's go sometimes. So, let's go. so everyone gets it. <laughs> Let's go! Did achieving your goals ever make you happy already? You can be happy already. Did achieving your goals ever make you happy already? You can be happy already. Did achieving your goals ever make you happy already? You can be happy already. Did achieving your goals ever make you happy already? can be happy already, drove a Tesla already, another goal is potentially already, drove me steadily at a lower capacity, now it's rolling so happily to the broken insanity of this potential gravity to a whole number level in another dimension. Basically this means, yeah, you had, you had already high goals, but you reached them, and another goal is potentially already there. Uh, you had a lower capacity of goals earlier. Now, now it's it just your goals just rise and rising to another dimension, another level, in another dimension. Um, so, what you should really do is here. Oh, in another dimension, in another dimension. Oh, oh, in another dimension. Look 
back at what you did, all the happiness you should get, and all the questions were so hard, and now you best them all on side. All the passion that you brought was getting you so far. Rabbit little boss, nothing left to ask. So basically, yeah, now now you can look back at all the things you can you did already that were like so hard earlier and all the happiness you should get from it that you deserve and actually feel that happiness. Yeah. And basically you just uh, otherwise you're gonna set your goals to even more impossible standards like getting to Mars, getting a you know, already getting a Tesla is just so much money, right? Um, yeah. So that's basically the topic of the song. And I wonder how you guys feel about this, about this topic. Um, also, the songs are, this is basically the last song that doesn't have a video yet on, on this album. My next album is going to come out next week on also on Thursday evening, or I guess here on midnight between 25th and 26th. Um, on November 2021, that's then Chase Your Dreams 5, Emotions and Fantasies. And yeah, I just listened to the songs a bit more. I mean, all of these songs have quite a depth. Uh, some are easier to understand depending on the situation you're in i guess so uh, might be a bit harder to understand for you um i hope you can understand this song now and thanks for watching this video and i mean this topic is relevant for me in general and i also would like to know if you guys have like any any ideas how to get uh, happy how to look back at what you did and how how to um, not be so restless all the time always thinking you need to achieve more and more and more even when you have like so much money already when you achieved so much when you were number one in the world multiple times you just wanted again uh, we have the same thing with a lot of very successful artists who write them um, like Juice World. I mean, okay, Tupac got shot. <laughs> okay, uh, Juice World XXX Temptation, um, singer from Linkin Park, basically. Uh, so many, like, so many important singers. Also, we had a German goalkeeper who killed himself. And I see, I feel like a lot of people who achieve too much actually set too high goals that they can never achieve again and then they uh, will be so depressed that they don't achieve their goals um, especially people who were really successful in the past and just struggle to have the same success now um, but even people who were are going to be su more successful in the future have trouble and yeah one thing i want to mention about the lincoln park if you look at the last um at at some of the albums yeah so lots i mean in the beginning it was a lot about like negative view of uh, of suicide right um while on the last album yeah, I mean, being happy already really like interacts with the topic of suicide a lot too. Um, cause I, I feel like you shouldn't suicide cause you can always like completely change your life. You can go to a different country. I mean, just going to a different continent or country already like changes up your life so much why would you suicide like then you could also like just imagine just going to africa like you're gonna be afraid you're gonna kill yourself but you're gonna be too afraid to get sick in africa or whatever like makes no sense right uh 
yeah so one thing on one more light is what sets me off a lot is how happy like all of these song titles nobody can save me good goodbye talking to myself battle symphony in i'm invisible right why is everything so happy sorry for now halfway right one more light sharp edges i mean all of this is so suicidal and the worst thing about it is that it's happy with suicide and in my opinion you should never be happy with suicide you should completely change your life don't do this to your family just um i mean just just do stuff that is dangerous if if you don't if you're not afraid from death just do dangerous stuff that's okay who cares right but um why take your life i mean it's just um not a good idea you do so you really uh your family and all your friends will be so sad um, or just move to a different country to move to a different continent i mean even go to space <laughs> whatever right just do anything like that um you can so easily change so much about your life too and even like if you think back five years from now your life was completely different why would you waste your life kill yourself and give you no opportunity to completely change your life in the next five years every life changes so much every five years and you should not think that your life will not change um you will always have a different life later and it's gonna get better if you just just work towards what you want to achieve um the problem is just when you achieve it you should probably also be happy and also be happy with what you have right now or change more about it so yeah that's basically my opinion and yeah i know i mean i'm really into very sad songs but yeah i'm really into very sad songs that's why i also like xxx temptation that's why i like uh, all these bands right um i'm really into really sad songs like lucid dreams exo to alive was to leave and then sad all words are the same mm. but after the what uh hearing the sad songs you should be happy yeah that's it basically feeling like i'm sad inside feel just way too sad and cry sad i made you mad and fight it just been a pack of dust feeling like i'm I still don't understand what I really feel Sometimes it's just too hard to put my thoughts in words Cause words don't describe enough, I just need to learn I just need to learn To give us all what we deserve It's so hard to put in words Fuck rules, put values first Why would we Destiny Promises I broke It's not what I really want I'm finding myself And I get you don't understand Because I really changed Becoming so Feeling good. like I'm sad inside Feel just way too sad and cry. 